Our final award today is the Cyril F. Duke Flad Outstanding Undergraduate Award. The award is named in memory of Lambda Chi Alpha's second executive director who led the fraternity from 1942 until his death in November of 1968. Duke Flad labored with a love and profound dedication for Lambda Chi Alpha for more than a quarter of a century. Duke's successor, George Spazic, called Duke a man of infinite patience, wisdom, and diplomacy. He was a humble man in a world that had almost forgotten the meaning of humility. He was a deeply religious man who was greatly moved by the lasting friendships at a time when men thought more of receiving than giving. He exemplified more brotherly love and concern than any brother I have ever met. The Cyril Duke Flad Award was created by the Grand High Zeta in 1970. Selecting one outstanding undergraduate from our applicant pool and our brotherhood is extremely difficult. 45 brothers now share this most distinguished honor. This year, the awards committee selected brother Linwood White from Gamma Upsilon Zeta at North Carolina State University. Linwood graduated summa cum laude in June with a degree in economics and a 3.8 GPA. His GPA ranked him in the top 10% of his class and fifth within his major. He served as chapter as High Alpha, High Kappa, and chairman of the executive committee. As High Alpha, he helped the chapter secure the largest new member class of all 22 IFC fraternities, doubling the chapter size. The chapter also posted the second highest GPA and achieved 100% compliance with the Department of Greek Life Standards of Excellence. Not surprisingly, the chapter also named him, the chapter also named him Fraternity of the Year. In a letter of recommendation for his Duke Flat Award, North Carolina State's Director of Greek Life, Shelley Dobeck, wrote, as a fraternity and sorority life advisor, my passion is to challenge students to live out of the espoused values of their organization on a day-to-day -day basis. Linwood was one of those rare individuals who get it. Not because I come down hard on him or challenge him at every turn, but because, because it is inherent in who he is as a young man. In a year that has been challenging for our fraternity community, Lambda Chi has been a constant source of joy, not because everything is perfect, but because when things go wrong, he asks for help. When things go right, he honors the alumni that paved the way. And when things change, he seeks partnership with other organizations in the university and asks how Lambda Chi can lead the way. Brothers and guests, it is my distinct pleasure to present to you the 2015 Cyril Duke Flad Outstanding Undergraduate, Linwood White. Thank you. Brothers and guests, it is a great privilege to be here with you today, and I am honored to receive the Cyril F. Duke Flat Award. This is an amazing experience, and I am humbled to be considered in the company with the previous outstanding Duke Flat recipients, and I thank you. I'd like to take a few minutes to share my Lambda Chi experience with you. At NC State, Gamma Upsilon was chartered in 1924, closed in 1998, and reopened in 2011. When I joined in the fall of 2012, there were 25 members, and we had been recolonized on campus for one year. Being a new colony, we did not have a house. We struggled socially, and we were well below average with our philanthropy. When I graduated this past spring, ending my term as chapter president, our chapter had 87 members, a house on Greek court, the second highest GPA, and the 2014 NC State Fraternity of the Year Award. These awards and accolades were the product of hard work between our four partners, the undergraduate brothers, the alumni brothers, the fraternity and sorority life department at NC State, and the international fraternity. These achievements would not have been possible on our own, but our chapter graciously received help. I'm proud to have worked alongside our undergraduate brothers to build back our chapter. I want to also note that we still have tremendous room for improvement. We are nowhere near perfect. So why do I tell you this? And why does our story matter? I want to share our story with you 
to show that with hard work and labors of love, the Lambda Chi Alpha model works. In a time where fraternities are heavily scrutinized, and in some cases rightfully so, Lambda Chi stands at the forefront of respectable fraternity life. Our chapter would not have taken off if we went in with an us against the world mentality. But instead, we focused on an inclusive partnership, and it has really paid off. The past three high alphas led the way and built the foundation of leaving our chapter better than we found it. We also have a strong alumni base who worked tirelessly to bring us back to campus and to ensure our positive growth. The Gamma Upsilon House Corporation, GU Alumni Association, and our High Pi have all given countless hours to help us build and grow. I want to thank all of our alumni because without you, we would not be where we are today. I've been personally inspired by GU alumnus John Knipe. He has been a mentor and a dedicated brother who all GUs aspire to emulate. John has been a brother's brother and a man who has been a confidant to me through both thick and thin. GU House Corps President Jerry Lasseter has provided guidance and leadership throughout. And our high pie Jack White has been with us since the beginning and has stuck with us even when we struggled. The International Fraternity and NC State Campus stood by our side and helped guide us through the past four years. Our former ELC, Justin Friend, pushed us to strive to be one of the best chapters internationally and not just at NC State. Brothers and staff and Greek life officers who wanted us to grow, improve, and live by our values instead of striving for mediocrity and the stereotypical frat life. Lambda Chi Alpha offers a different and unique fraternity experience, and like many other chapters and colonies, Gamma Upsilon is proof of concept. As a recent graduate, I want to offer some advice to the undergraduates. Have the time of your life as an undergraduate brother. Really, live it up. But most importantly, remember to walk the walk and don't just talk the talk. Remember that we are a part of something much bigger than ourselves. Living by our core values and treating others with respect is the cornerstone of our fraternity. This is what makes us different than so many other organizations. Always remember our goal to be pure, high, and ever-growing, both personally and fraternally. As undergraduates, you have a great opportunity to attend the seminar and to learn from ELCs, master stewards, fraternity staff, and from each other. I challenge you to find one weak area in your chapter or colony and dedicate yourself to improving it. Be the brother who is willing to sacrifice time and hard work, and I assure you that it will pay off and you will not regret it. I want to share a similar story from my experience. In the spring of 2014, NC State fraternities learned that the fall contained a formal recruitment process unlike anything we'd ever seen. The process would be more like a sorority rush, and understandably, all the fraternities scoffed at this idea. Many of the 21 fraternities initially resisted the change, despite the fact that we had very poor recruitment averages. However, a few Lambda Chi's decided that we needed to take this challenge and run with it. During the summer, a group of seven of us met on countless occasions with the fraternity and sorority life department and formal recruitment experts. We set a goal to recruit 30 new associate members with excellent GPAs, extracurricular involvement, and ideals that aligned with our core values. We briefed our chapter on what to expect, and we spent countless hours and weeks preparing. Eventually, that group of seven brothers turned into our entire chapter being excited and prepared for this new formal recruitment. All of the apprehension and disdained had turned to enthusiasm. During the recruitment week, we met around the clock to prepare, discuss, and fine tune our recruitment model. And on the final day, we got a call at about 10 p.m. that 35 new associate members had signed their bid, making this the largest new member group in over 75 years of Gamma Upsilon history. I specifically remember a group of brothers running the halls of the house with excitement and screaming both because we had crushed our goal and because we would soon be greeted by all of our new and great associate members. 
Now, this story does not mean you should strive to recruit a large group of new members. That's entirely dependent on your school and on your chapter. But it does show what amazing results we can achieve from setting a goal, asking for help, and working together. We got to this point by including others and not by isolating ourselves as a chapter. Not to be understated is the value that this fraternity provides to each of us. My Lambda Chi Alpha experience has undoubtedly changed my life. I've developed friendships that will last a lifetime and memories that I will always cherish. Being a member of Lambda Chi gives brothers the opportunity to develop, learn, and hone skills unlike any other campus organization. It gives us a home away from home and a network of unwavering love and support. From Zeta meetings to chapter dinners to fun mountain and beach weekend trips, and my experience is just beginning. As I now get to enter the realm of alumni status, I get to enjoy many more years with my fraternity brothers, and you all will get to do the same. Thank you for listening to me speak, and thank you for this award. I know there are many brothers across the country who deserve this recognition, and I assure you that I do not receive it lightly. However, although this is an individual award in nature, it is truly a testament to the hard work of GU brothers and our four partners. Thank you to my parents who supported me and made this awesome experience possible. And thank you to my girlfriend who has stood by me and been an advocate for Gamma Upsilon for the past three years. In closing, I encourage you to be involved, ask questions, and seek to improve both yourself and your chapter. The, more you, the old saying really is true. You get out of life what you put in. The more you dedicate and involve yourself, the more memorable an experience you will have. I especially like this quote from former NC State basketball coach Jim Valvano when asked, how do you go from where you are to where you want to be? He answered, you have to have an enthusiasm for life. You have to have a dream and a goal. And you have to be willing to work for it. The same is true for the fraternity experience. And Lambda Chi Alpha provides us with all the necessary tools. The most notable is our strong brotherhood that brings us together across the country, across diverse backgrounds, and across many generations. While we can always have a goal and a plan, the true catalyst for Lambda Chi Alpha is its brotherhood. George Spazic said it best that the heart of Lambda Chi Alpha is in its brotherhood, knowing no geographical or regional barriers. The arms of brothers, young and old, join together in a beautiful blending of generations. As we go out into the STED Conference, let's learn from each other and enjoy time spent with brothers across many miles and many years. With faith, hope, and brotherly love, thank you. <laughs>